big difference. Um, I'm excited every season coming in, but this season is increasingly more exciting because I'm surrounded by more players that I brought in. So the team is slowly becoming um, my image of what the team should be. So I'm definitely excited coming into year three and um, starting to establish more of an identity. Well, we start out with a conference challenge up in New Hampshire. Um, we're playing Southern New Hampshire and St. Anselm. Definitely going to help us on the court. Northeast 10 is a very strong um, conference. So going up to the conference challenge will help us see where we are uh, mentally and physically. Um, to see if we're in game shape that we think that we're in. And mentally to play games back to back. Two tough opponents up there will definitely um, give us a challenge and see where we are as a team. Well, we definitely have nine returning out of our roster of 14. And within that, we have four seniors. Carrie Calloway, who is a Delaware native. I'm very excited to have Carrie back. Um, she's in pretty good shape this year. She's ready to go and take that leadership role um, as a senior. Jennifer Carr, she is, this is her second year in the program and definitely shaping up to be remembered here. She's putting her staple in the program. Tashia Plummer returns this year as a senior. And um, same thing with Tashia, this is her third year with me. And she is turning to the post player that we've been trying to get her to be. She's hungry, she's ready to play, and um, she's working very hard. And our starting point guard, Taylor Carter, this is her third season also here in the program. Um, definitely understanding my system, being able to run and lead the team. Um, she's serving as a uh, captain also this, um, this season, as she has the past two seasons. Um, she's in shape, and she's hungry. In our junior class, uh, we have returning uh, Tanisha Spence, which has been our leading scorer here um, and she's um, she's very close to getting her a thousand point this year and once again just a player that um, enjoys doing what she does but she's she's ready to win and she's ready to kind of put the team on her back and do so in the junior class we're also returning um, Patricia Miranda and Ariana Nash who both saw some um, very important minutes last year defensively they're our top two players um, on that side of the ball and they'll be looked to for that role a lot this season and in the junior class, we have Lindsey Bradford. She redshirted last year with an ACL injury. So um, we're anxious to get her on the court and add some depth to our, our post position. And sophomore class, we have two returners in that class. Um, Jocelyn Rodriguez is our point guard. She was our backup point guard last year. And um, I hate to say backup because I mean, she played half the minutes of the game. So they, her and Taylor played very well together. And Jocelyn's definitely going to push Taylor for a lot of minutes this year. And then Jasmine Lee. Jasmine came on really strong for us in a lot of games last year. Um, posted a couple d double digit scoring numbers. It's just that kind of you don't know what you're going to get out of, but you know you're going to get something out of a really good. In our freshman class this year, um, we have two freshmen, two true freshmen, um, Ebony Dixon and Corinne Essex Arline. Both add a lot of depth to our guard position and they add a lot of height to our guard position. We're kind of small on the wing, but these two alone, they're at 5'9 and 5'10, very long, very athletic and we'll absolutely be pushing our returners for a lot of minutes at those positions. Uh, we're really excited to have them. And we also bring in this year, Katara Presley. She's in her junior year. She's a junior college uh, transfer. And she'll push for a lot of minutes in the post. And we have a red shirt sophomore, Zamira Jones. She is a D1 transfer. Very excited to have her here. She'll add a lot of flair to the game. She's very athletic, really quick. She's a hard worker, very hard worker. I feel like it's been more commitment and I feel that everyone has worked a lot harder. They've been in here before practice, after practice, like I know all over the summer, like every year it's improved, like everyone's just put more effort in. Well team goals are for us are no more moral victories. Um, we feel like we're past that point um, in year three that um, our absolute goal this year is to make the conference tournament, is to win the conference tournament. Um, and we feel like we can achieve that. With um, We have nine returners. It gives us a comfortability in them as well as them in us. And finally, learning and buying into the system um, is definitely taking place on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, the kids are hungry. Like, they are ready to win. They finally believe that they can win. We up, Colin has been with me at my third season. Um, this is Candace's second season coming in. And I brought in a new assistant, uh, Chris Burley. Chris and I have, uh, we've known each other since Oh my goodness, I was like 12 years old. And he's been like a big brother to me. And we've coached together for 13 years on a high school level. Just that familiarity. Chris is a very, very well-known recruiter in the Northeast region, the DMV region, the Maryland, Virginia, PA. Everybody knows Chris and he knows all the kids. He knows the names, he knows the coaches. So just an important piece I felt like I needed to get back 
in order to go where we need to go as far as recruiting is concerned. I mean, you're only as good as your next kid that you get in. So in order to do that, then I needed Chris on my staff again. Well, well personally, I want to be the main rebounder for the team. You know, I want to be that go-to person that we need rebounds, you know, and just like that go-to player that hustles and, you know, gives a good example of what, you know, a post player, a leader should be. Um, I know I want to look to score a lot more and be that go-to player also for the team so uh, that personally those are just some of my goals team goals we decided we want to limit turnovers you know we want to get a lot of rebounds because a lot of rebounds means that they don't get the rebounds so that's a, that's a big goal for the team and just staying positive like no matter what the situation is just staying positive and cheering the team on so we can keep a good energy for the game I believe you can't teach instinct and those are the kind of players I like to, that, that I like to recruit, high IQ, that can instinctually play the game. And then I can put that into a structure to help work for us. And I think that's where our athleticism is gonna come into play this year. Um, being able to play baseline to baseline for 40 minutes um, is, is what we need. And I think it's something that can be um, successful in our conference.